What is up guys? The NVIDIA Broadcast app. That was released yesterday on September 17th. Today's the 18th. So if you have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2000 series card uh, or the brand new 3080 RTX 3000 series card, uh, you can use the NVIDIA Broadcast app and it is free of charge to download. So you would just go to google.com, you would type in NVIDIA Broadcast app download and it would probably bring you to a page like this. You can click down here, NVIDIA Broadcast app, where you would download the EXE. You just click download now, it'll download to your desktop or wherever you download your files. And then you would just use the EXE to extract and install the program. Now I have already done that. So here it is, the NVIDIA Broadcast app. So what do I think? When I first installed it, it ran great. Um, it has a microphone function and a camera function. So the microphone function is as such. Microphone source, whatever you use, I use a microphone, a Yeti stereo mic. So I have that selected here. And then you can select noise removal. You check this on. And then right here, you can adjust the strength with this slider of how much noise removal you want. Basically what this app does or this microphone function does in the NVIDIA broadcast app is it'll filter out some background noises if you are streaming, if you are on a Zoom call, a business call, if you have a kid crying in the background, you have somebody walking through your house, you have a background conversation. This app will do a pretty good job of trying to filter out all that background noise and allowing your microphone or the recording to just focus solely on the presentation or the person's voice. Uh, and I have done a quick audio test and I have a demonstration for you guys ready right now. So all I'm doing in this demonstration is for a few seconds speaking into the microphone and tapping on my desk and tapping on my computer case. And I found that this app did a pretty good job of removing that noise. It doesn't remove it entirely, but for the most part, it minimizes it almost completely and relegates it to an afterthought. So let me play that audio test for you right now. This is a test. This is a test of the NVIDIA broadcast microphone capabilities and its ability to block out background noise when recording your voice. I'm going to tap on my computer tower while speaking, and hopefully this tapping is either extremely faint or almost non-existent as it should be. So three, two, one, tapping and talking. Tapping pretty vigorously and talking normally. You probably will be able to hear some degree of tapping, but it shouldn't be overpowering. It should sound like it's very much in the distance or you should not hear it really at all. Tapping, tapping, tapping my desk now, tapping my desk. And that concludes this test. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. I mean, I was tapping pretty vigorously on the desk, on the, on the computer case, and you can barely hear it. And at times you can't even hear it at all. So I'm pretty impressed with this app's ability to filter out background noise. Here you can click on speakers and they have some demonstrations of how this improves the sound of your microphone. So if you have air conditioning running in the background or somebody eating a bag of chips speaking into a mic, they have demos on how it can make your commentary sound clearer and it can block background noises, kind of cool. But if you're like me, the biggest reason why you wanted the NVIDIA Broadcast app is because you use a webcam and because you either stream your gameplay or you record gameplay clips for YouTube or something of that sort, like I do with my Let's Plays. And I just wanted to switch out the background picture of my webcam. You know, I have a couple of young kids and in my computer room, we, we use this space as storage for some of their toys. And oftentimes in my streams or in my gameplay recordings, you see these background toys. It's not exactly ideal. So I thought, Maybe I will replace the background using the NVIDIA broadcast app with a, a picture of a galaxy or something kind of cool, you know, something so that the audience doesn't see all these kid toys. You can also use, you know, a GIF on loop, something like a video clip in the background. It, the NVIDIA broadcast app did all those things. And at first it worked really, really well. So if you click on here, camera beta, It'll try to open up your webcam. So I have the HD 60S plus on my PlayStation 4 hooked to my computer. We want the HD webcam. The problem is when I first downloaded this app, it was working great, fine, no problems. It linked up with OBS. I had a different background and I was like, this is really cool, nice, awesome. And now eight hours later since I've downloaded this app, it doesn't work. Um, this NVIDIA broadcast app is really glitchy. It has a lot of bugs. I mean, I can't really complain too much. It's a free app, but like any software that was just released within a, you know, one to two week window, it's gonna have bugs. It's new. 
I'm sure for some people this works just fine. They haven't encountered any major problems. But for me, I am one of the unlucky few, apparently, where you can see it's frozen. I can't click on speakers. I can't click on microphone. It will not detect my webcam. I have tried unplugging the USB cord on my webcam. I have tried restarting my computer. I have tried closing off the program here, the NVIDIA broadcast app, and then opening it back up all to no avail every single time it doesn't work. It's, it's really confounding because like I said, at first it worked just fine. And now the app has entirely crapped its pants. I could probably try as a last ditch effort uninstalling the NVIDIA broadcast app and then reinstalling it. But quite frankly, I'm too lazy and just don't give a shit. Uh, this application is clearly in its infancy and it really needs some firmware updates for it to work. Uh, like I said, the microphone portion works just fine. It's just the HD web camera part that's not working, sadly. But if it is working for you and you are unsure how to set up the NVIDIA Broadcast app so that it links up with your microphone and your webcam and OBS, then let me show you how to do that really quick. So I have a scene already set up here. Currently, I am using the NVIDIA Broadcast app with my microphone. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that the app is open in the background, which it is, you can see here. And then I open up OBS, and when you set up your audio input device, whatever it is, whatever kind of mic you have, you typically would go to the plus button, you would click on audio input capture, and then what you wanna select is this, I'll show you. You wanna select the microphone NVIDIA broadcast in parentheses here. You don't wanna just select your normal microphone Yeti mic because that will not have the NVIDIA app or the NVIDIA broadcaster app filtering uh, included. So you won't be filtering out background noises. In order to do that, you need to select microphone NVIDIA broadcast, and then you're good to go. So that is what I have selected here. Now, if you have your webcam and it is working, it's playing nicely with the app, you'd click uh, the plus button, you would click video capture device, you'd click okay, and then you would go to your HD web. This is your HD web camera natively without its link to the NVIDIA broadcast app. You don't want that, right? You want the broadcast app. You want to be able to change your background. You want to be able to have a black background or, or a transparent background. So you would click camera NVIDIA broadcast and you click okay. And you can see here, because the app is all messed up, because it is not recognizing my camera, we have nothing on the screen. If I were to remove this, and I were to hit the plus button, come on, plus button, video capture device, okay, and then just select my webcam without the NVIDIA broadcast app link, so webcam, okay, there I am in my sexy house go because quite frankly, I don't give a shit and I'm lazy, but you can see it's not my webcam. My webcam is working just fine. There's no glitches there, so clearly the common denominator with the errors and the problems I'm having the freezing is the NVIDIA Broadcast app. So that is that, really. Um, yeah, let me remove this. So if you do not have a 2000 series GPU or a 3000 series NVIDIA GPU, would I recommend you rush out and get one just so you can use this NVIDIA Broadcast app? Absolutely not. This app right now, it works great for the microphone, um, and it actually is really effective at, at kind of blocking background noises. But if you were a person like me who really was looking forward to using it with your webcam to change your background and your webcam, then you're going to be sorely disappointed because the app right now is a steaming pile of dog crap. It just it freezes. It doesn't work for crap. It doesn't recognize my webcam. A webcam is just fine. I'm sure a lot of people, like I said, haven't had this problem, but for me, it is not working. So don't rush out. Don't go and get yourself an RTX card just because you want to have this awesome webcam experience. I have faith in NVIDIA that at some point, hopefully in the next few days or weeks, they will have some patches and this app will work a lot better with my web camera. But who knows? Uh, hopefully it doesn't take them several months to get this straightened out. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me. I just wanted to let you know my thoughts on the broadcast app. It, it does a really good job with microphones. It just does not work right now with my webcam. It is very glitchy. So uh, downloader, be warned. But it's completely free. So if you have an RTX card, what do you have to lose? Go and give it a try and see how it works for you. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like or a comment and subscribe, and we will see you guys later.